almost exactly a year ago, we uploaded as a part of our How Good Are They Actually series about young players, Borussia Dortmund's wonder kid Yusofa Makoko, who at the time had turned 15 and was gaining notoriety on social media following a well-documented run of dominance in youth football. But what really publicised Makoko in the name of mainstream media was this gift from Lionel Messi. Yes, the Argentine went out of his way to send a personalised picture to Makoko for his 15th birthday. This introduced the Dortmund wonder kid to the masses, and like us and other followers of football, Messi was also monitoring the record-breaking teenager hidden away in Dortmund's youth sites. Just by looking at the numbers without any highlights or context, you see a uniquely talented youth prospect who had blown away competition years beyond his age, at every age. It's been nothing short of amazing to see what Makoko has accomplished in youth football. And so far, having since broke into the Dortmund first team, the teenager who broke every record imaginable in youth football is now accomplishing similar feats at the professional level. So with that being said, now seems as appropriate a time as ever to recap Makoko's career to this point. It was heavily requested by you guys down below in the comments. In today's video, we'll be updating his progress since last year, which has been his most successful yet, and try to break down just how good Yusufa Makoko actually is. Before we get up into this video, if new around here and haven't already, click that big red button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, we're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers as soon as possible. And remember to like the video to help push the upload through YouTube's rigged algorithm. But born in Cameroon on the 20th of November 2004, Makoko spent the first decade of his life with his grandparents before moving to Germany with his father 10 years later in 2014. While Makoko began his football in Cameroon, things only properly kicked off after his move to Germany. When first arriving at St Pauli's youth side, he did so in trainers, not having a pair of boots to his name. And while you'd expect such a change of circumstances to perhaps hinder a player's football, for Makoko this was not the case whatsoever, and he hit the ground running right away. In just 13 games with St Pauli's under-13s, Makoko scored 23 goals, catching the attention of current side Borussia Dortmund, who made the youngster a priority and swiftly sealed his signature. Upon arriving at Dortmund, Makoko took no time settling in. At just 13 years old, he was by far the youngest player on the under-17 side, but that didn't stop him from scoring a whopping 90 goals in 56 games, with 16 assists on the side. It was at this stage in his career where rumours began circulating that he was not in fact as young as his family had claimed. Typical, he's too young to possibly be this good. But the scary thing was, he actually was as young as advertised. And Daddy Makoko came through with the receipts, providing his birth certificate to the club and league. Unfortunately, this wouldn't be Makoko's only problem with media. Following his German debut with the under-16s, Makoko was surrounded with expectation, pressure and hype from the media. They weren't there for Germany's under-16s, no, they were there for Yusufa Makoko. This huge distraction and chaos led to the decision from Dortmund and the German FA to avoid selecting him any further out of protection for his development. Yes, Yusufa Makoko had too much clout for German international football. But despite these issues and newfound expectation, Makoko on the pitch just kept performing. By age 14, he was moved to play with the under-19s and continued to break records and kept scoring. In 32 games, he would score 51 times and assist 11, totaling 62 goal contributions in 32 games. That's almost two a game. In the UEFA Youth League against Barcelona, Makoko became the competition's youngest player, before also becoming the competition's youngest goal scorer, netting against AC Milan. This was around the time of Makoko's 15th birthday when he also received the attention of Messi. Real recognises real, game recognises game. Nike also took notice of Makoko and his talent, securing him early on in a deal worth around 10 million euros. Not bad for a 15 year old, but one that could look like a bargain for Nike, a major sneaker company for years to come. But since then, it has been nothing but upwards and forwards for Makoko's young career. Year after year, it just seems to be getting better for the kid. Because from January this year, Makoko was allowed to train with the first team and the German rules allow players to play from 16 years of age onwards. It became clear that the club was counting down days for when he'd finally be cleared to play. In November 20th, Makoko turned 16 and within 24 hours, he was given his pro debut as a substitute November 21st, becoming the youngest ever player in Bundesliga history. We are witnessing day to see why. His new teammate Erlen Haaland has even admitted Makoko was far better than he was at age 15. 
And that's high praise from the winner of the 2020 Golden Boy Award. In these videos, usually I'd refrain from saying a youngster is going to be world class based on what they've done in youth football and brief cameos in the pros. Funnily enough, when we covered Erlen Haaland when he was at Salzburg, he was the last and only player I said I was 100% certain would be a world beater. I believe based on everything we've seen from Holland so far, that he is the truth, and someone that projects to be a 25-30 goal a season forward, and one of Europe's top leagues for the next decade. I'm now ready to put Makoko in that category. He is going to be a world-class player and is as good as anyone we've ever seen at that age. He's also in the perfect environment and situation to reach his world-class potential because Dortmund are the best club in the world at the moment for nurturing and developing world-class players. Playing first-team football alongside some of the best young players in the world is only going to help him develop. Having been in the spotlight since he came to Germany, he will be ready for the attention that is to come. And with the help of the Dortmund side who clearly know what they're doing to both protect and develop him, I really do see Makoko as the real deal and have the expectation he will become a world class player for many years to come. But if you guys have made it up to this point and enjoyed, let me know down below in the comments which young player you'd like to see me cover next. I promised you guys I'd be more consistent on this channel in 2021 we are going to do just that so make sure to click that big red button, subscribe to the channel, you don't see any other football creators on the platform making videos like this. If by any chance you guys happen to be interested in basketball, We've got almost 150,000 subscribers talking about the NBA. I'm going to leave a link to that down below in the description. And on that note, it's DKM signing out. Till next time, and peace.